cool today. I'm having a Imagine you're starting your morning off with a workout. <sighs> yeah. Carrying the books around. Yeah, and today I'm having... That's why she doesn't gain weight when my parents give her food because she carries 18 pounds of books today around Today we're having this French toast. It, it's the French toast with cream cheese that I made in a video for you guys the other week. And we have organic syrup. Mm -hmm. Which I could just guzzle this straight up, but I'm not going to because then I'm not putting... So if you guys didn't see that video on how to make this, it's basically just really high quality ingredients to make french toast pasteurized eggs grass-fed milk sourdough bread organic cream cheese and it's a high quality version Gina, get a plate because you're not eating both of those oh i'm not <laughs> i could gonna eat i guess i have the other one three thousand calories worth of french toast i guess i have the other one for tomorrow i guess sometimes i use organic honey it depends on what you oh Gina, Gina, Gina. Gina! Oh my god, that's enough for syrup. <laughs> now I'm gonna put this over here so I don't use. Now to dig into this delicious breakfast my brother made me. Gina, why don't you cut in half so they can see the cream cheese in the middle? As you can see, there's cream cheese right in the center here. So overall, this is an excellent source of caloric energy. It's minimally inflammatory because all the ingredients are organic. You're feeding your gut bacteria. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, and I actually forgot to do it today, uh, was put whey protein in the French toast batter. That's a great way to add uh, some protein to this meal. That's actually what we did in the recipe last week. Mmm. You had this last week too, right, Gina? No, I don't think I did. Yeah, you did. You had French toast. Oh, yeah, no, I remember. This is so good. I haven't had it in a long time. Gina, we just had it four days ago. Mmm. I love French toast. Didn't Dad give it to you on the table last week? I think so. Well, Gina, what have you been having besides French toast? Organic oatmeal. Sometimes I have like uh, organic cereal. I had Dad said you weren't doing so well with the eggs. What kind of eggs was he giving you? It was not organic eggs. It was like just the regular white supermarket eggs. Yeah, those I got like Dad's sick from that. So yeah, so. You know, when you poison yourself all day with like low quality conventional stuff, you, you can tolerate it because you're used to it. But as soon as uh, you start eating higher quality foods, if you try to go back to the low quality stuff, like she's getting sick eating the conventional omega-6, corn, soy, eggs, I'll probably give her really bad digestive issues. Whereas she eats the higher quality eggs, no problem. This is the best French toast I've ever eaten. Yeah, it's uh, it's 8.30 on a Sunday morning, so she wakes up really early to uh, eat, and that's her first thing she does. Uh, so we'll have lunch around uh, 12.30 or 1, okay, Gina? Mm-hmm. Why is it so cold? Hi, everybody. I'm about to eat lunch today. Today, today I'm having organic stream cheese because I can't eat actual processed stuff because it just doesn't agree with me. And we got my favorite kind of meat, prosciutto. Okay, so we're... Gonna put this on a plate and maybe let it get a little warm, right? Because we're just in the fridge. I actually like it cold. <laughs> so if you guys missed, we did a Trader Joe's grocery haul, I think two or three weeks ago. And they don't really have as much of a selection of higher quality stuff as Whole Foods does. But the stuff they do have is like half the price and it's still pretty good. Uh, because the only ingredients in this are the milk, salt, and rennet really. So it's... Minimal ingredient, not really that much inflammation. Uh, same thing with the prosciutto. All it really ah! is is uh, ham and salt. Uh, so from the perspective of something you don't really have to prepare, that's not too expensive. That's also good for you. has a lot of B vitamins, some fat type of vitamins, minerals. Uh, this is great. And it might help to have maybe some chocolate or definitely some higher mineral plant foods with this meal. Uh. Contrast all the zinc and... Uh, and animal-based minerals. I would say Gina sits down to eat like a normal person, but she actually doesn't. So mm. last time we had uh, grilled cheese, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can check the last day of eating with Gina to see how we made the grilled cheese. Uh, but today we're just having some prosciutto mozzarella, which as I said, doesn't require any prep. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. And very high in uh, protein, which a lot of kids and people don't want to eat that are a little picky. Mm. 
And this might actually get her to drink some water, which she never does. What have you been having lately, Jean? Usually some soup or something? Yeah, like organic soup I have that dad gets me. It's organic. I mean, at least it's organic. I'm assuming the tomato one has similar ingredients. Butternut squash, soy base, cane sugar, canola oil, sea salt, rice flour. It's not really that great. Uh, could be a lot better. And another big problem is you definitely don't want to have like a high vitamin A soup every day. Uh, throw things out of balance pretty quickly. All right, Jean, so we'll see you for dinner. Mm -hmm. So for my sister's dinner, uh, something else from Trader Joe's that I never used yet. This was something else we got from that shopping hall. It's an organic three cheese pizza. And the ingredients are pretty good. Uh, it's basically what I would normally make myself for her. Uh, Whole Foods has a pizza crust you can buy. You can get organic mozzarella cheese. You can get pretty much organic tomato sauce, every single ingredient. Not too many bad additives and the ingredients that you don't want in here aren't really in super high amounts. Hey, YouTube people. I put on makeup today. Yeah, but your hair is getting progressively messier throughout the day. <laughs> oh, what? Well, two pieces, Daddy. No. Junior's trying to do a, a 10,000 calorie bodybuilder bulking bay of eating. <laughs> well, I know I could do one point. Oh, my God, this is hot. You're just missing the four hours a day in the gym. She is standing up when she's eating, though, so she is working out. Oh, hot. No, it's hot. She took a bite of that pizza straight out of the oven. So if you make pizza with high quality ingredients, it's actually decent. Organic tomatoes, organic mozzarella cheese, organic bread. You kind of remove all the negatives and all you're really doing is giving your gut microbiome some starch to eat. Granted, you, know, you don't have any leaky gut issues with the gluten and of course the vitamins and minerals predominantly in the cheese. So Gina's gonna stuff her face as usual, and uh, maybe we'll have a snack later if she doesn't explode by then. You can't make promises. Hi, I'm about to have my snack. What is this? Her hair's getting crazier and crazier, Gina. I can't help it. My hair isn't as perfect as yours, Frank. What do you why, want from why me? Why are you carrying the mask around? I was wearing it. We know it's all fake. So this is organic uh, yogurt. Probably the only decent one in the supermarket that I saw. And I mean, at Trader Joe's, this was affordable. At Whole Foods, they probably charge you like $15 for this. Obviously, you want to get something from a local farm, it's better. But uh, the strains of bacteria in this one are decent. It's lactobacillus, bifidum based. And that's the most important part of the yogurt that you're getting the probiotic bacteria. Otherwise, there's no point in eating it. Uh, we did a video making yogurt, I think, six or seven months ago. And we also have a video on kefir if you guys want to check out how to make it yourself. But she hasn't eaten in an hour, so she's starving. I won't even damn chuck this yogurt out your head in a minute. So the ingredients in this are pretty minimal. It's just the milk, the cultures, the enzymes. Uh, they do have the specific <laughs> probiotics, lactobacillus and bifidum. And they do fortify it with vitamin D, which is okay, as long as it's not fortified with vitamin A or any iron or any of the B vitamins that are artificial. I'm gonna scoop it. Right, are you gonna scoop the whole thing into there, Gina? I could, but I'm not good. <laughs> Why is it so chickly? It's like... There is a little bit of sweetener in here. I think they just use the organic cane sugar. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that if they put those probiotic cultures in there, that the probiotics will eat up all the sugar anyway. So as with the other dairy products mm. she had today, they're all very high in B vitamins, protein, uh, the fermented stuff has vitamin K2, the cheese and the yogurt. Mm. And this is good for the probiotics for gut health. Obviously it's better if you have this earlier in the day or before or with a meal, but mm. It's still beneficial. It's still moving through your digestive system. Uh, so she's gonna have this yogurt as uh, the final snack. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Do you have anything besides sound effects to say to the? It's really creamy. Here, it tastes a lot better than the regular yogurt because I can't eat regular yogurt. Oh, we could show you guys the horrible snack my parents brought her. That's not. It. As the stuff falls out of the cabinet. Now this is organic, so some of the chemical concerns are removed, but it does have way too many additives, vegetable extracts, all stuff that's processed and made in a laboratory. It does have sunflower oil and it's not high oleic, so this is very high omega-6. And you know, for something that's not good for you and really just full of plant ingredients with a little nutrition, it doesn't even taste that good. So you could definitely have something better. You don't like these, right, Gina? Not really. That's the one that that's the one that bought them. So Gina, why don't we, why don't we say goodbye to the YouTube people? Bye YouTube people. 
Just to know my brother Frank is an amazing person. So if all you, any of you ladies are single, please date him. Please. I'm begging you.